Hello, Brazilians. I'm Walter Block. I'm a professor of economics at Loyola University, New Orleans. I bring you greetings. Uh, I'll be down uh, in Brazil in a few days, and I'll be giving uh, two lectures. And I'm very much looking forward to this. Um, the first lecture that I'll be giving is on market failure. A lot of leftist economists say that the market <clears throat> fails. And uh, what they mean by that is not that people are imperfect, and we all are imperfect, and I agree that markets fail in that sense, but that uh, that's not what they mean when they criticize free enterprise. What they mean is that uh, the market left alone without government regulation will create monopolies, and uh, I think that that's not true, and I will try to demonstrate to you why I think it's not true. Another criticism that mainstream economists and Marxist economists make is that uh, the market has failures because of externalities, uh, either positive externalities or negative externalities. Uh, a negative externality would be pollution. A positive externality would be uh, education. The idea here is that the market will either overproduce or underproduce uh, pollution or education, and therefore the government has to step in and correct the market. And my view is that this is nonsense. The, the market will do just fine without the government. And uh, I will try to explain why that's true. The third one, the third market failure I'll cover is a thing called public goods. This is the idea that there are certain things that only the government can do and private enterprise can't do it. Or if it does it, it'll do it very badly or ineptly. And I'll try to show why that that's not true either. The second speech, or maybe the first speech, I, I'm not sure which order I'm giving them in. The second speech is, what is libertarianism? Uh, the first one is more economics, and I'm an Austrian economist. I'm a follower of uh, Ludwig von Mises and Murray Rothbard. And uh, the first one will be very much uh, Austrian economics. And I'll explain a little bit about what Austrian economics is in that speech and why it's different than neoclassical or logical positivist uh, economics. The second speech, or the other speech, I should say, is uh, very different. Instead of on economics, now it's on political philosophy <clears throat> or libertarianism. And I'll try to explain what, what libertarianism is. It's To give you a hint, it's the non-aggression against uh, non-aggressors, or the non-aggression principle, the idea that you can do anything you want, just keep your hands to yourself, don't grab other people or their property. And then I'll apply it to uh, two things. One is um, unionism. Uh, what is the libertarian view on unions? Are they legitimate or not? And the other I'll apply is discrimination, racial and sexual discrimination. Do we have a right to discriminate against people on the basis of their race, their sex, their gender, their sexual orientation, what have you? And hopefully there'll be time in both of these lectures of mine to have questions and dialogue and discussion with, uh, with the audience. So please come on down. I'm looking forward to interacting with you. And I hope we have a good time. And I'm looking to teach and also to learn because uh, if you're not learning, you're not being a good professor. And I'm going to try to learn from this experience as well as teach other people.